Hey guys, this is Nima from Abbey Cryptocurrency. In this video, we are going through a project, OpenOcean, which I already talked about it, but now because they released their perpetual trading, I'm gonna give you a little bit of overview about what they have done in the past six months, and then we go to perpetual trading, and I show you how you can, you know, deposit your money, how you can do the trade, and how you can withdraw. So as you can see, this happened on 6th of January 2023. So the perpetual trading is now available on OpenOcean thanks to their broad exchange partnership, which is a partnership with uh, a broad exchange. The uh, low trading costs uh, and zero gas fee per trade, as I compared with so many centralized exchanges, which their trading fee is like very high compared to OpenOcean, which I'll get into it as well in this slide about a, a maker and take your fees. And also they can use uh, OOE, which is a native token of OpenOcean to get a 20% discount on trading fees for like extra trading fee discounts. Also, I have to mention that in the past six months, uh, they had a cross-stream bridge and swap the perpetual future API SDK, limit orders on more, you know, chains, which I already made a video about it. I've been compared it with uh, LIFI as well. And they support 19 plus chain and 250 liquidity sources and trading view chart, uh, charts as well. Now, let's get into the article they uh, submitted in order to introduce their perpetual. As you can see, they can allow user to access perpetual trading on Avalanche and Arbitrum. And as we mentioned, if we have, they have a OOE as a default payment option for a trading fee and the make it free is this and take it free is if you compare with the centralized exchanges, there's a big uh, gap, there's a big difference. That's why kind of this is competitive to DYDX. But if you're trading in a higher volume, DYDX doesn't really help that much, which I'm going to show you in, in, in another slide. The maker fee and a taker fee of DYDX. You can do your analysis. If you don't really trade that much, you can choose DYDX as you don't have pay any maker fee or taker fee until the point which is majority of people when they when they have been into any financial market, they trading volume in 30 days will surpass the amounts, which that's why they have to still pay the make your fee and take your fee. And so this is really competitive rates that I've found and that's why I'm considering using it at least for a while. And also it's uh, multi-collateral trading with the asset like USDT, Ethereum, uh, wrapped Bitcoin and the leverage is maximum 25x. Now, without any further ado, let's jump into let's jump into the perpetual trading. First, you go to the OpenOcean.finance website and press on Perpetual under the Product tab. You have the choice between Arbitrum and Avalanche. For the sake of this video, I will be transferring funds from the Avalanche mainnet. Next, you will connect your wallet to the website. After connecting, you can deposit money to start trading. As it is a multi-collateral platform, you have five different options to choose from and deposit to the platform. You will have to complete two transactions, the first to unlock the funds and the second to move the asset to the perpetual trading. After receiving the confirmation, you should see your transfer token in the asset tab. Similar to other trading platforms, you have different options to open and order, such as limit, market, stop limit and stop market. If you are not familiar with these terms, I would suggest watching my PancakeSwap Perpetual or DYDX Beginner Guide videos. You can find your trading leverage on a platform and choose your leverage, which is 5x in this case. In the asset bar, you can find all of your assets and hide the ones you don't have. Next to the asset tab, you can find all of your transactions, trade and order histories. To open a trade, you choose the price you would like to buy or sell and then either choose the volume or the scroll the bar to the desired percentage. If your trade has been activated, you can find information about it in the position tab. If you would like to close your position, simply press market close or write down the limit price you would like to close your position at. Before we get into the withdraw part, I have to mention, if you learned something from this video, please like and subscribe and press the bell notification. That means a lot to us. Also, I would love to mention, if you trade gold by any chance, we made a new YouTube channel for the gold live trades and it's better than every live trade you've ever seen. You just have to follow it for a week and you can decide for yourself. Now, let's get back into the open ocean perpetual. Lastly, to withdraw your money from the platform, you move your cursor to the top right side where you can find your wallet address. Press withdraw, choose the asset and the amount, 
press withdraw. And that's all for today. If there is any question, write down in the comment section. We'll have a big surprise incoming, so stay tuned.